Hey guys, hope you're having a great day, great week, great month. It's Andy here from Process and Fitness. Just wanted to hit you with a real quick one today, just to talk about one of my clients who's had some uh, some pretty life changing results actually over the, the, the past three months. Basically, Claire is a 25 year old girl. Um, she work woman, sorry, she hate me for saying that. Uh, she she works in an office in in Weymouth and doesn't really do do too much in terms of physical exercise. Well, well she does now, but when she give me a call, she wasn't doing anything. Um, in a nutshell, she called me initially and said, look, Andy, I need some help. I hate exercise. I hate fruit and veg and I barely eat any meat. Um, and basically just told me that she, she has absolutely no interest in, in health or fitness or nutrition, anything like that. But she just realised that there's a problem, and, and she had to sort of get something done about it. Um, a couple of the problems that she was having, um, which sort of led her to call me, is basically that she's got a real big lack of energy. Um, sort of as she goes through the day, she wakes up feeling crap, um, bloated, all that sort of stuff. Uh, doctor told her she's it sounds like she's got IBS as well. Um, she's having a few sort of problems with her bowels, which we won't really go into. But anyway, um, we basically met up, got an assessment done, had a little bit of a chat about the sorts of things that we can get, get sorted out, how our current diet is, and then, well, you know, basically she wasn't doing any physical activity really, so we didn't even need to talk about that too much. But we then sort of set out a plan of action for for her to, to sort of get stuck into. She basically ended up seeing me twice a week for about 10 to 12 weeks, um, and now I'm just seeing her sort of once every couple of weeks. But what we did in terms of nutrition was where she was sort of anti fruit and veg is because she's, she's never eat, never eaten it as a kid really. Um, so what we did there was just look to gradually incorporate it into her diet. We started off originally initially with uh, with smoothies. Um, so I got her to buy a blender, sent her a pile of recipes for actually getting getting some fruits down her neck by chucking them in a blender. Zzz! Blending them up, necking them first thing in the morning, job done. And she actually got on with those pretty well. Um, in turn, vegetables were slightly harder because she she just doesn't really like them. Didn't, I think she kind of like broccoli and carrots, and that was about it. So that was what we worked with in, originally. So we're just making sure she was getting you know a portion of broccoli and some carrots down every day. Um, and then each each sort of third day, we basically experiment with a new type of vegetable um, until sort of six weeks down the line, we had a full on list of stuff that she absolutely loathes, um, stuff that she would would eat if she needs to, because she could just sort of just about tolerate eating them, um, and then some that she actually didn't mind eating, actually quite liked. So basically, by the end of that first six weeks, we had her eating sort of four to five. Um, portions of fruit and veg a day which is ideal so she was spreading those out throughout the day um we cut out all the processed food for her as well because we found that that was you know that was one of the biggest things that's contributing to her a lack of energy um, and just fatigue throughout the day so we got rid of all of those and she actually found that within the first two maybe three weeks her energy levels absolutely skyrocketed she, was, she actually told me she was feeling like a new a new girl which was which is brilliant with regard to the tr the actual exercise, because as I said, she, she hated exercise, um, it was just a case of getting some fun stuff in there. So, you know, things that um, that she wouldn't normally associate as actually being sort of training. So I, mean, I got her to go uh, go climbing a couple of times during the first month because she, she'd always, she, she said to me she, that was one of the things that actually appealed to her. So I sent her down to a, to a climbing wall to get that done and she actually found that pretty good. Um, I got her on a, a structured training program, which obviously she did with me. So we were doing a pile of stuff with her body weight, um, resistance bands and medicine balls and all that sort of stuff to, just to actually get her enjoying the training. And she actually found she loved it, which was bang on. Um, and then in her own time, it was a bit slow to start off with because um, she find it, found it quite hard to motivate herself training-wise within the first sort of uh, four to five weeks. But... After that point, she was pretty much bang on, really, because she just found found some exercises and some some protocols that she enjoyed doing, um, based on my flame principles, um, and she was just able to sort of crack on with those for sort of twenty minutes a day. And I think about three times a week she was doing it in the end. But basically, sort of ten or twelve weeks on after after she'd sort of started, she's just really is a completely new girl. Um, she's got loads more energy. 
Uh, she's told me that her, uh, her hair's feeling a lot better, her skin looks a lot better, and I can I can sort of vouch for that myself as well. She, you know, her, her skin is looking brilliant now. After when we started, it was you know a little bit dry and flaky. I'm sure she wouldn't mind me saying, um, but but now she's looking bang on, really really good. And I mean, she wasn't a big girl or anything when we started, but she's actually you know trimmed down, and actually toned up quite a lot. She's actually started seeing a little bit of definition coming through the abs now, which is which is fantastic news as well. Um, one of the other sort of big things that we found is that I mentioned about sort of uh, the doctor saying she's got like IBS um, and all her digestive problems and whatever. But basically, after after a month of eating clean and eating right, that has completely disappeared and, and everything there is now functioning normally. Um, and, and she's on top form with, with regard to all that. So she, I just wanted to share that with you real quick today, um, just to let you know that if you're going through the similar sort of things, you might be someone that hates exercise. You, you can't stand eating eating uh, sort of fruits and veg and you don't eat any meat and all stuff like that. If you're one of those people that really doesn't have, you just don't really care too much about health but know you need to do something about it, then I'd recommend just consulting someone like myself um, and actually just seeing what can be done because you're not alone out there. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that you can sort of crack on with to actually get you back up to the sort of level you want to be functioning at. All right, so anyway, have a fantastic day, week, month, and year, and I'll catch you guys soon. Take care.